The profile itself, I'll look at that, why don't you machine it? Well, the reason we don't machine it is because it's a one-off and it's not economical to do it that way. It's more economical to do it on this yeah. and it's quicker. We've dropped in to see Andy from AW Precision, a phenomenal machine shop, and you're a subcontractor. We are a subcontractor, UK based, and we predominantly supply to the automotive industry. But all around, all around the world? Mainly we also Europe? supply mainly into Europe as well. 60% of our business, in fact, goes into Europe. And you've been going a little while? We have. We started in 1970, so we're coming up 52 years. Okay, and what exactly do you make? Well, we manufacture the customer order, so we manufacture precision made components very small batch volume, ones and twos, to very high precision. We supply predominantly, as I said, into the automotive industry, but we've also branched out into defence industry as well, and nuclear and gas oil. Okay, and when you say, what sort of components are they? They're components predominantly used within the stamping industry, so they're used to form metal into whichever way the customer wants, piercing holes, so the best way to describe is in the side of your car where the indicators used to pop in, there was a hole. Well, our product goes into making that hole. Right, nice and simple. Andy, you've invested in this latest machine. It's a Joe Mars Sync EDM. It is. Why? Well, this machine has actually replaced two of our machines that were 50 years old. Um, so as part of our investment program, we bought in the Eurospark. It does what it says on the tin. It's a cracking machine. It's quick and easy to use. Cycle times are good for the products we do because we're so small batch volume as well. We don't use traditional milling, things like that, because it just takes too long for us to do it. And from an economic point of view, these parts aren't worth that investment in time. Where we've got a machine like this, it just does it, cracks on with the job. It's a real workhorse for us. And we do have, as you'll probably see later, a huge machine shop available. I was going to say, we were trying to count them up, it took too long, about 200 machines? We reckon about 200 machines. We've got new machines coming in all the time. It's, as I say, it's all part of our investment program. Okay, now this machine is, as you say, entry level, cost effective solution, yep. easy to control? Easy to control, easy to use, easy to set up. As say, our products, they're not overly complicated. So we need things that are quick, easy to use for the operator. But as I said, we've got other machines available to us that can do things on a much more complicated basis. Again, this is a workhorse. Why have a Ferrari when a Ford will do the job? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. But looking at this component in here, this is, a, well, what is it? And I'm thinking, why don't you just mill it? Be, would it not be easier? Quicker? Well, you think so, and I agree with you. But at the same time, when you look at that product, yes, it does look a little bit complicated. You can five axis mill it but the precision to which we need to manufacture to, we're not gonna get on the five axis because we get push off. So what we do is we EDM sync these ones, and you're right, it does look as if it's upside down. We manufacture the copper plate, we run the punch through it, so this is a punch for the automotive stamping market, and actually this part is gonna be going in the Ford probably later today when it's finished. Okay, and in terms of the actual materials, what is this and what materials, I mean this is really, I'm assuming, this is, tricky materials. It, this is a high speed material, high speed M2, um, we also manufacture Vanadis, we use ASP materials, so the majority of the tool steels we use within automotive stamping markets. Um, the reason high speed is 6062 Rockwell, therefore it's hard enough to pierce, which is high strength steels, ultra high strength steels. Even those parts made in hot, hot stamping, this part will get through and make the required hole. Now this isn't just a round hole or a square hole, this is quite a complicated form. Okay, yeah, I mean the form though, looking at that, was it on camera, it doesn't look that complicated. What makes it so complicated? The reason it's so complicated is, if you look at the part, there's a lot of different radiuses within it. And also, this part goes into what's called a ball lock holder. So it's a quick release ball lock holder. It's a spring-loaded ball, this punch fits into it. It has to be accurate to that ball seat because any play or any movement, that's gonna go into a die. And if there's any misalignment, well, that's it, the punch is gone. And this punch, how many, I mean, when it's punching, how many times will that be doing it a minute? A minute, probably talking 150, 160 strokes a minute, potentially and you could be looking at anything between 400,000 to 800,000 components. Right, so again, tough material, but accuracy, what sort of accuracy will this go to? We're talking about 0.1 of a mil, but that's on the high end, on the rough end, but we go right down to 0.1 of a micron. Right, just to clarify, 0.1 of a micron? 0.1 of a micron, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, and this is the thing, you look at these products and you think, it doesn't look very complicated, you then get it up into inspection. You see what the concentricity and the accuracy of these parts are. They're second to none. Brilliant. That's an absolute great endorsement of the machine. And to summarise it, second to none.
Thank you very much, Andy. Your latest Joe Mar Sync, Dye Sync. Dye Sync EDM. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you.